Hello everyone! It has been way too long. I am super overdue for another photo card storing video. I think it's been about two months or something since my last one. I and I definitely have um, like slowed down purchasing a little bit just as the end of the year approaches, you know, with the holiday season and stuff like that. Plus I had to travel recently um, to visit family. So I thought I had really slowed down and, and I guess I did, but somehow I still managed to accumulate things. I just sort of looked the other day and realized that I had a lot more than I thought I did. So yes, let's just jump into storing. I have a lot of exciting stuff. Um, I will put timestamps down below for the different artists so you can skip around. So on that note, let's get started. All right, I'm going to start with NCT. I think this is my first storing video post big downsizing, which is kind of exciting. Although this binder looks um, pretty much exactly the same. Um, let's see. I have only a few cards for Heichon, um, to zoom in a little bit. Part of that is because I ended up um, not buying sticker or the repackage, like I didn't buy um, any albums for it. So you can see I've set up for sticker and for favorite, but I haven't actually purchased any cards yet. I haven't talked about this before, but I, even before this song came out, I am... Um, really didn't like the album packaging for sticker that color green is like my single least favorite color in the world <laughs> i'm serious i'm like that petty when it comes to buying like albums i only want something if i like really love the album design so i decided you know what i'm not even gonna try and buy the albums and then like keep the cards and sell the albums later i'm just gonna buy the cards separately and not worry about it this time plus there were there's also itsy and 17 coming back at the same time and I don't even know if I've mentioned this in a video before, but I really hate the song sticker. <laughs> Just my opinion. They can't all be winners. What can I say? So, yeah. I haven't purchased any cards for this yet, but I will probably um, very soon. But I do have some non-album photo cards for H-On. So, the first thing is very exciting. I've been wanting these three cards for absolutely forever. So, they are his two um, Neo City... Neo City Sound this is from, uh, voice keyring Polaroids. These are expensive and I put off purchasing them for a long time, but like left a place for them because I knew that I would want them eventually. And then finally I decided, you know what, I'm just gonna do it. And then to match it, a card I absolutely love is, I think this is the card holder or something like that. I can never remember what these random merch items are, but the card is outrageous in any case, and I'm so glad to finally have it. Ugh, and those cards look so good together too. Oh no, there's a cat hair. Okay, and then the last thing I have for Hichon is, oh, let's see. I actually, post downsizing, I haven't even rearranged these, so. Oh no. All right, let me figure out how I'm going to rearrange all these cards. Hmm. This is super, super temporary, so don't clown me for the way I'm arranging this. I know it doesn't make any sense. I will fix it later. So the two cards that I have for Hichon are these two cards. They came with some merch item that I've already forgotten, but I'll put it in a comment. I, I think I bought, I think it was a thing where it was like a merch item, but I just bought the cards separate. So like I had completely forgotten I bought these and then one day they just came in the mail and I was like, Okay, well, they're cute, so I'm not mad about it. So, yes, now I have both of those. And then I will go back and fix this arrangement or whatever I've got going on back here at a later date because I don't have the, the brain capacity to deal with that right now. So, this binder probably looks familiar because it used to be my first IU binder, but I've rearranged a bunch of my binders um, in the meantime. So... Yes, 
I've rearranged everything. Now this pink binder is what I, I guess what I'm calling my JYP girl groups binder, just because it made sense. So I put my twice stuff in the front here. And then back here past this divider, I have all of my Itsy stuff. So of course, Itsy had a comeback, which means I have a lot of stuff to put away. First though, before I get started on the new stuff, I have the final card from Guess Who. This Jadeo card with the orb, finally. Ah, and just like that, Guess Who is actually complete, including the special edition or limited edition or whatever cards. I'm a little bit out of frame there. I hope you can even see that. Now, next, we can get started on the new stuff. So I kind of set up for, um, I, don't, I don't really understand how I set up for this, to be honest. I, so I have, let me explain. I have both of the um, Polaroids. There are two Polaroid sets. I'm missing two Polaroids, but I have them both on the way. And then I also have both of these sets of like mini cards that were a pre-order item. So I think what I decided I would do, and I might end up totally rearranging this if it like doesn't make any sense at all, but I have these like six pocket pages. And so I was thinking of putting these mini cards in there since they are kind of square. I don't know. Now that I'm putting it in there, I don't like it because they are so small. And these do fit in nine pocket pages as well. So it's just like, mm, would I rather put them in a nine pocket? Let me take them out and see what the Polaroids look like in here as instead. Hmm. Yeah, I like that better. I think I'm gonna do that for now. So let's see, I'm missing Leah. Okay, that's the first concept for the Polaroids. I don't love that. I might end up just putting these in a nine pocket later. Um, my They don't fit in ultra pro nine pockets, but they do fit in like my larger ones. Um, yeah, I don't know, we'll see. I'm feeling very non-committal about this at the moment. Then the second set of Polaroids. So this one I'm missing Rujin. Although I have a very bad feeling that I bought Che. Why do I feel like that? Uh-oh. Now I need to double check which ones I purchased. I don't know, I don't have a good feeling about it. Uh-oh. Okay. Now the mini cards. Uh-oh, this one's really tight for some reason. Hmm. I don't like that. Why is this pocket so tight? It fits in all the other ones just fine. I'm worried about that. I think that's gonna damage it. I'm not gonna do that. I'm just going to stick these on the back of these Polaroids for now, and then um, worry about how to fix this whole situation later. That seems to be the theme of this storing video. I must not be in the right headspace today or something. I don't have the brain capacity to make any decisions. Yeah, that's a mess. We will fix it later. This set is very cute, actually, where they're peeking through the curtains. I really like that one. Okay, next. Let's see. I'll just take these out. Well, I'll just leave them in for now. We'll figure out what to do later. Okay, now we can get into the actual album cards. So let me sort out. I have some of the limited edition ones as well, so let me sort those out. Okay, so there are six different um, backs to these photo cards. So these three being like the same sort of like checkerboard pattern, obviously I'm going to store those three together on the same page since I store like three sets going across on the same spread. So on this first page, I'm going to store the other three, which also luckily enough, they're wearing the same outfits in. So we have the flower set, the phone set, and then this sort of like smartphone selfie set like this. So the way I'm gonna do it is these ones are closer up, the ones with the items, and this one with the phone selfie is far away. So since it's the odd one out to make it symmetrical, I will put that in the middle. Okay, and then I personally like the 
flower set better because I just think the flowers are cute. So I'll put that one on the top. Okay, so that's what the backs will look like for this one. And then this is the arrangement I've got going on. Considering the number of like photo cards there are this time around and also like the amount that came with each album, I did not buy near enough albums to like make a big dent in this. As you can see, I mean, just on this first page, I still have like a lot that I'm just like gonna have to purchase. Um, yeah, cause I actually didn't draw that many dupes. So there are a lot of cards. So next for these three, there are um, three different ones again. There is the cookie cutter ones, which are extremely cute. These ones with a lollipop. And then these ones that are just like normal selfies. So again, I'm gonna put the odd one out in the middle and the ones with the props on either end. So I like the cookie cutter set the most. So I will put that one on top. And the regular selfies in the middle. And lastly, the lollipop set on the bottom. So yeah, this page is looking even more dire and empty. We will have a lot of work to do in the coming months. But I am really excited because I think the backs, I really like these colors and like the checkerboard pattern. I think the backs of these are going to look really cute once I have all the cards filled in. So that'll be fun. But we're not done with Itzy yet because JYP once again released special edition versions of the album. I Last time I didn't really like it. I mean, I understand from a business perspective, like the strategy behind wanting to increase second week sales or whatever. But from a collector standpoint, I hate it. <laughs> Last time wasn't that bad because there were only five random photo cards and you got two per album. So, you know, I only had to buy two albums and then buy one card. It was really not that onerous. But in this case, there are two different versions. There's the photo book version and the jewel case version. And both have 10 random photo cards each and you get two per album. So it is literally quadruple the number of random photo cards compared to last time special edition version. And I was really torn about at first about whether I was even going to collect these because I was so bothered by it. Um, I'm still not even gonna 100% commit to collecting all these. I did end up buying a couple copies of each version, but I, I'm not sure what the prices are gonna be like for these. So I'm not fully committing to collecting all these until I see the prices and, and get an idea of what I'm getting myself into. Because yeah, I couldn't bring myself to, the capitalism was too much for me y'all. I just couldn't, I couldn't do it. That being said, let's store the cards that I do have. I do have um, several trades that are out. I haven't marked them off here yet. So I don't even remember like which cards I have on the way. So I do have a couple more than I'm storing, but um, not that many more. <laughs> so yes. The way I set it up is each version has a um, like a set of sort of far away kind of like non-selfie cards and then a set of selfie cards. So this is going to be the selfie cards for the uh, photo book version. And I didn't pull any of these actually, which is kind of interesting. So yes, I don't have anything there. So this is for the um, selfie version of the photo book version of the special edition. So I have two cards currently. Um, and I will have two more on the way when my trades come in, but I got Yuna and Che. I do sort of, as usual, anticipate that the selfies will be maybe more expensive. I don't know if that's gonna hold true there, but that usually holds true with other groups. So I'm glad that I pulled only selfies. I don't know this cat hair. But like I said, we'll have to see how the prices actually shake out. I believe I have these two on the way and I don't have Leah yet. So yeah, I think with the glare, you can't even really see it properly. So I'm sorry for that, but this is what it's going to look like. Next, we have the jewel case photo cards. So I did pull, I did buy one more jewel case than I bought of the photo book version just because they were cheaper. 
So I have two of the um, sort of like concept or non-selfie cards, I guess you could say. So I have Che and Leah. So that's those. And then the backs of these are random. It's interesting that they made the backs of the non-selfie cards like different and then the backs for the selfie cards are all the same. I wonder why that is. So for the selfie version, I pulled Che and Brujan. And the backs of those just look like this. So yes, that's kind of the way I've got it set up currently for the um, special edition photo cards. Like I said, we're just gonna have to see how these prices shake out to see whether I will keep going with it or not. I'd really like to, but I don't know. Like I said, it's the holiday season, so I'm feeling kind of non-committal about it right now. So yes, that's everything I have for Itzy's newest comeback so far. So here is a binder you've never seen before. I got some new binders as well, as rearranged what was in my existing ones. So this is one of the new ones. I decided to rearrange things so that this would be like my SM Girl Groups binder, similar to how the previous was like my GYP Girl Groups binder. So in that case, that just means that I have the few Solgi cards that I have, my tiny Solgi collection, and then my Taeyang collection. Now there's a ton of room in this binder, so what's gonna happen here in the future? I don't know. I'm not committing to anything, once again. That's the other theme of this, of this story video. We'll see what happens here. There's room for growth and I like that there's room. So, very, very, very exciting. I have a bunch of Taeyang cards. I was really excited to start collecting not just her solo album cards, but also her older stuff as well. And now's the first time that I get to put all of those away. So first up, I have two of her three O photo cards. I have the unit, which looks like this. And then I have the selfie card with this weird creepy baby doll, which looks like this. There is also um, a full group photo card, but I'm not collecting that one because I can't find a page layout that makes sense with it. And also, the only one I'm missing for O is this white border card. Now, this one um, was like, I think I want to say it was something where it was like limited to the first 10,000 released or something like that. It's like super limited. It's really rare and hard to find. I've seen it for sale twice, both for absolutely exorbitant prices. So... Who knows if and when we will ever get that card, but I expect that to be the very last card I ever get, if I ever get it. Probably should have put these in order beforehand, but I sure didn't. Right next I have one of her Japanese photo cards. This is for Jeannie. It's right there. And then I'm still missing her other two Japanese cards, but those should be relatively easy to find. Next up, Completing Hoot, we have her second Hoot card. Perfect, yay, so that's the first page done. So again, only missing one impossible card and then two easy to find Japanese cards. Hmm, I have the Mr. Taxi repack marked off, but I don't seem to actually have that card. So that is unfortunate. Hmm, too bad, okay, well, we will move on then. I'll have to unmark that later. I wonder what happened to that. I know at one point I had purchased like some cards and had them canceled, so that must be one of those ones that got canceled and I like forgot to mark it off or something. But next we have both of her TTS Twinkle photo cards. So that's very exciting. This is so exciting. Oh my gosh, I only have one of these marked off, but apparently I have both of her hauler photo cards. Yay! That's so exciting. I think I forgot that um I found one of them on like Mercari US, which I almost never find anything on Mercari US um that I can't find cheaper somewhere else, but just sometimes I'll find like really rare things there. I found a couple tan cards there actually, which is, I don't know, really exciting. So yeah, now we're only missing that one card on this page. That's so good. Okay, next I have both of her 
Lionheart photo cards. And I didn't realize that one of them has You Think on the back. I didn't realize the backs were different like that. I guess I assumed because the fronts are like nearly identical that the backs would be too, but I guess not. Okay, then I have one of her Dear Santa photo cards. This is a TTS photo card. This is another, another one of those ones that I had purchased and then didn't have any more, I think. This one. This holiday night photo card is so exciting because this was so hard to find for some reason. I couldn't find it anywhere or even like a record of it having been sold on like other sites. And then randomly I checked on um, Mercari US and I found someone selling like a, like a set of tan photo cards with like a bunch that I already had, but it included this photo card, which was so thrilling to me. I literally couldn't believe it, so I very happily bought that whole set so that I could finally get my hands on this photo card. I say finally, I wasn't searching that long, but <laughs> it felt like finally because I was anticipating that it would take a very long time, but I got really lucky. So yes, again, we're only missing one card. It seems like every page, mostly, we're only missing one card. Okay, then we just have one more card. So let's get past all of this stuff. As you can see, I've made no progress on finding either of the Little Touch Kinos. Again, I had purchased one once and it got canceled. I think the red one. These are like really, really hard to find. Um, yeah, I think these are gonna take a while. But what I did find, again, this time on Mercari US, what's up with that? I found her Purpose Repackage Kino. Yes. I had to buy the Kino with it, but I don't even care because it wasn't expensive at all. I'm so excited to have that. That is another one that's like pretty hard to find, especially because it's a Kino photo card. So I'm really excited to have found it so quickly. So yeah, so I mean, let me see how many cards we're missing. I know we're missing the two Little Touch Kinos, three, four, five, six, seven photo cards. That's really not too bad. So I'm really happy with the progress I made. So now on to 17. So you can see I'm 17 themed today with my colors kind of. This looks kind of brown on camera, but it's very pink in real life. So this is the same one and a half inch 17 binder that you know and love, but I made a bad decision and tried to set up for something new and then ran out of room in this binder. So I had to get a second binder and change how I do everything. So yes, long story short, there's a lot of room in here now, which yeah, we'll see what happens with this in the future, but I needed like an overflow space. So for now, this is gonna be my extra non-album stuff and then something else. So as you can see, I put all of my sort of like extra things that I don't really have a way to integrate into like the chronological Korean album photo card flow. Excuse me, my throat hurts a little bit still. I got really sick when I like traveled. I had to travel to visit family recently and I got like, I picked up a cold or something. It wasn't COVID, I got tested, but like, yeah, I was just like really sick for like a week and a half, but we're good now. So yeah, I did a bad thing. Let me explain my decision making. I decided that at some point in the future, I will collect 17's Japanese album photo cards. I don't have any plans to like seriously work on this, like at all this year, even like anytime in the recent future. So what, what spurred it on was that I, I've always really loved the typography and like the album design of the uh, Hitori Janai series of albums. So I bought a few jewel case I've, or not jewel case I bought a few of those like little albums uh and I got them new so I got them with photo cards and I did pull Sunquan twice so that's really exciting so then I thought well if I plan to collect the Japanese album photo cards in the future then I might as well set up for it and just so I can just like have it there <laughs> to look at and be a bad influence for the future. So here's all this like empty setup that's gonna stay empty for a long time because I still have a lot of Korean album photo cards to, to get through first. 
Um, and I do want to like at least get close to completing those first. Um, but I don't know, I'm a bad person. I can't control myself when it comes to 17. So yes, I do have these two Sunquan photo cards and like, look at that, look at the design. It's so, I don't know, it's so appealing to me. The colors are appealing to me. The font, dude, I just love it. So I have marked off A and C and I think this one is A. I'm not gonna look it up right now because I'm feeling too lazy, but I'll just fix it later if I'm doing this backwards. So yeah, these are gonna be like alone here for a long time. I say that and I actually did buy another Sunquan card for this series, um, just cause I randomly saw it for sale on the page of um, someone that I was trading with already. So I was like, yo, let me just pick that up while I'm there, you know? So yeah, this is gonna be pretty lonely for a while, but I'm still excited because I think, and especially like all these photo card bags, they're gonna look so good together when they're done. Anyway. I'm excited for it, even though it's gonna be months in the future. Okay, say hello to the new 17 Korean album photo card binder. Still blue. It's not as pretty of a blue as the other binder, but I couldn't find that binder anymore, like in the two inch size, which is what I wanted to upgrade to. So I had to get a different one and I don't like the color as much, but we take what we can get. So let's go to 17's newest comeback, which I said this in my um, in my unboxing, but I just can't understate how obsessed I am with this album. I truly am deeply obsessed. Since it came out, I keep like listening to just rock with you on repeat, and then I'll take a break and listen to to you like two or three times, and then I'll go back to listening to rock with you on repeat. I can't control myself. It's honestly like maybe my favorite mini album they've ever had. I like every single song and I never like every single song on an album like never even for my favorite groups there's always like one song I don't like but man they really did it this time that's all I have to say so I have a ton of trades that are still like out and about for this and I still need a few cards so definitely if you have 17 cards especially like Wuzi Sun Kwan or Hoshi yo check out my Instagram I have like nine different photo cards still like available for trade and I'm only looking for like three photo cards or something so yes there are options but anyway all I have to say I do have Woozy's Target exclusive I kind of hate that the Target exclusive photo cards are like the photo book concept that I like the least but that's just typical but yeah Woozy is the only one that I pulled and then I already have, um, I've already traded for both Hoshi and Sinquan, so those are on the way. So yeah, that, th they were really easy to trade for actually. Um, it was no problem. I've gotten so confused, like, setting up for this and trying to trade, because especially because like, these photo cards come in like pairs that look similar. I'm so glad they have the numbers on the back because honestly, I was like losing my mind trying to figure out what cards I had traded for and hadn't traded for. See, so yeah, I only have four photo cards currently that are the ones that I pulled, but I have a lot of trades out and about and on the way. So for version one, let's see. I first have this Hoshi Horong Hei, which is number nine. Perfect. And then for version one, I also pulled this Sunquan with the tangerine. Really cute. Perfect. And then let's see. Actually, for off one, I only have. I actually think I need to mark this off. Let me do that really quick. I actually literally just set up a trade for this. So I have version one complete, at least in terms of cards that are on the way. And then version two, I have this exquisite Sunquan card. The mermaid concept, or merman, I don't know. Whatever it is, I love it. Did I do this right? Yeah, sorry. I'm getting confused with how I have this set up. And then last, the only woozy card I pulled, I have this one from version three. I actually have traded for one of these Hoshi cards already. I can't remember which one, but I'll have to mark it off later. So I only have one more Hoshi card and then three Sunquan cards. 
don't know why these are so hard to find for some reason. I think I have one of these sort of like in the middle of being set up for a trade. So yeah, pretty good trading progress so far. As you can tell, I've been addressing a lot of envelopes lately. This will be really exciting to see when it's done though. And then one thing I wanted to show you, well, I do have postcards to put away, but let me show you something first. They did announce the carrot version recently. So I did set up for it. So first I have um, set up for the four random photo cards per member, like so. I haven't put the placeholder or the, you know what I'm talking about, little papers in there yet. And then I did set up to put all of the like concept photo cards um, in here for all three members. So I would do like three pages worth of Hoshi, like a six pattern, a seven pattern, and a, se and a seven pattern, and then three for Woozy, three for Sunquan. I don't know. It takes up a lot of space in the binder. Who knows if maybe I might move these to the other binder at some point, especially because they're like not selfie photo cards, but I don't know. For now, because they're Korean album photo cards, I'm just gonna put them in here since I have the room anyway. But yes, let's go back and put in the postcards. Okay, I pulled, I think, basically all the or the postcards that I wanted anyway, which is really lucky. So I probably, I'm not gonna, I'm definitely not collecting the postcards fully. And I don't think I'm going to get more, but I haven't decided because I don't know um, what Woozy's postcard looks like for this version. I need to look up what it looks like um, and then decide from there. So first I have this Sunquan version one, which looks like it's supposed to go this way. And then I'll put, since these are the same version, I'll put these both on the bottom. This is the, again, exquisite mermaid concept. My favorite photo book concept they've like ever done probably. I'm obsessed with it. Someone in the comments of my unboxing was like, I just wish we had OT13 for this. And I completely agree. That's like the only, the only bad thing about this is that it was vocal unit only. So sad. But the postcards are very pretty. I'm excited to have them. Okay, that's it for 17. All right, very exciting updates on the IU front. So first of all, like my other collections, I rearranged this. Now um, my first IU binder is this purple one. This used to be my second IU binder. Now it's my first one. I basically got a second one of this binder. And so I have the first binder being this purple one, the second one being the same binder but in pink. And then for my third binder, which I just started putting things in, because that's how much I use stuff I have now, I have this purple one again. So let's do something very exciting. So people who have been watching for a long time may remember, or may not remember because it's been so long, like a thousand years ago when I said that I bought a bunch of my two cards all from the same seller. And it's been like, I swear to God, like eight months or something ridiculous like that. It's been like a super, super long time. I had basically completely decided that that package was like lost in the mail because there's like no way that a package could like take that long and still show up, right? Well, it happened. That's right. It actually arrived. I literally couldn't believe it. When it showed up, I was like, what even is this? Like, I don't know what this package is. I didn't order anything. And then I opened it and just like lost my mind. There were a couple cards in the set that I already had. And there were a couple duplicates as well. So in total, it is, I think, a little bit less than 30 Maichu cards, which there are, I think, 72 total. So that's like, I don't know, like a third, right? Between a third and a half, something like that? I don't know. Don't ask me to do math right now. So that means I can finally put these away and see like some real progress with this collection. I'm so excited. Let's just get into it. So the coat ones, um, they're wearing, she's wearing like a, um, like a light tan trench coat. I don't have either of those, but for this sort of knit, um, I call it knit because she's wearing like a knit sweater and a knit scarf. I have a bunch of these actually. So I'm trying to figure out how I want to lay these out. And it's temporary anyway, because I don't have all of them. So I don't know what the final layout is going to be like, but for now, we'll just find something that sort of makes sense. So these two where she's holding sort of Christmassy objects. I will put them together on the front. This is so exciting. I can't believe I'm actually doing this right now. My phone better not die during this momentous occasion. 
I will just take this off and move it over here somewhere. Okay, and then we have these three. So I'll put this one next to it because she's holding the normal Maichu package. And then these two because she's holding the sort of cup version of the packaging. And in these two, she has the bow, and these two, she has the earmuffs, so that looks really nice. That's really symmetrical. And then I'll just stick this heart one here in the meantime until we get more of these. My cat has picked this moment to become a nuisance. That's pretty typical. Okay, next, just put this here. So how many more of these do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, the uniform ones, do I have any of these? Okay, so we have three out of the five uniform cards. So the bow tie, jazz hands, <laughs> and a little heart. Okay, so only two of the uniform cards left. Pink sweater, I know I have some of these, I think. Okay, so there are eight of these total. I have one and then I have three more. This one with a bouquet, this one, and this one. So I will just put them all on this second page and just leave the first page blank since I already have this bike one here anyway. I can't wait until I have all of these and can like really decide how I wanna lay them out. Making some horrible squeaky noises here. I probably will edit that out. Okay. So, half of the pink sweater cards done. Pink skirt. Again, three more. Another bike one, that's interesting. Oh no, this one twice. I didn't, wait a second, why did I do that? That's very odd, I thought I went through and took out all the duplicates, but it looks like I um, forgot about two of them. So that's unfortunate. Wow, what a shame. Okay, well, I will take those out and just put in this little bike one. I wonder why I made that mistake, that's so weird. Okay, next, grape. I think I have some of these. I don't have any of them currently, but I know I have some now. Yes, these ones are the ones I called grape. So we have her holding a single one, a package, and a cup. So I'll just put them all on this first page. As you can see, there's no rhyme or reason to what page I'm putting them on, since these are all on uh, the opposite one, if that makes sense. It's all gonna change anyway, so no use being fussed about it. Okay, three out of the eight grape cards. Strawberry. Now let's hope I took the duplicates out for this because I think I have more of these. Yes, two more. Getting down to it, we're almost done. So we have this one and this one with a heart. We'll just put them on the same page because it's nice to see a filled out page anyway really you really feel like you're making progress when you do something like that so that's four out of the nine for strawberry can you believe i've gotten this far without talking about strawberry moon i mean what is there to say except that it's amazing <laughs> i love it and also like i mentioned before how i had to take that trip across the country and it was the first time i've flown in like two years and i hate flying it stresses me out a lot but Man, Strawberry Moon, that shit got me through those flights. I listened to it during takeoff on like both of my flights on the way home and it was very helpful. <laughs> Thank you, IU. Oh, I forgot I have that one on the back. I keep thinking these are duplicates because they look so similar. Like her head is tilted the same way. It's like tripping me out. So I have five out of the nine strawberry cards. Now, Humboldt cards. I have, wait, how many do I have? One, two, three, four. Oh, okay, gosh. I was counting wrong. My gosh. I thought that all the cards I had in my stack were just this version. And I was like, oh my god, did I complete it? I did not. So I have three of these. We have her crouching, a little bow, and the standing one. So since these two are both standing, I'll put them together like so. Get this out of the way. And then these two look pretty similar as well. Ooh, 
wow very exciting i think this has to be the version that i'm closest to completing in terms of like proportion of cards what is it four out of the seven wait oh there's seven so mm -hmm. dog i can't do math that is seven what am i saying five out of the seven okay that's so exciting oh my gosh i had no idea i was that close to completing this version how fun okay next apple let's see i think the last two are just apple and peach yeah so that means that i have now with this set i have some cards from every single version except for those two trench coat ones which are like i don't know so random because there's only two of them so it's like hard to get those but so yes look at these <laughs> bubble braids aren't those hilarious so i have these two cards um i don't know i mean there's two spaces here so i kind of am tempted to just put them here it kind of makes sense obviously this will be rearranged a lot anyway later suitable for now and you know what i just realized looking at this again dog i did it again i could have sworn i took out all the dupes and i missed three somehow oh well but all is not lost i still have one of the peach cards i have her on the drums looking very cheery <laughs> Look at that that card is so funny oh my gosh i am gonna rearrange this i'm gonna put both of these on the front since they're kind of um i don't know similar anyway no i changed my mind i'm gonna leave these two on the back because i think there are more that are like there's so much cat hair in here dude i swear there's like more than normal i don't know what's going on yeah i think there are more that are like this like distance from the camera if that makes sense so i would want all those together on the back and then this far away one um i assume there's less of these It'd be nice if there are two and then it would match and look good on the front like this yeah and if there's another far away um apple card then that could go here and that would look like a really cohesive page even though it's two different versions that being said let's go back to the beginning and just flip through this like and just appreciate it for a moment because i'm really happy about this some of them are not the, um, I keep thinking that I'm like, got duplicates. Some of them are not the best quality in terms of like cleanliness or like sun fading, but being that they're literally like, t what, 11 year old items at this point, you sort of have to take what you can get. And, you know, if you get duplicates, you can switch out which one is like better quality. Um, and that's really the best you can hope for. I'm so pleased with this. It's like so exciting to finally see some progress on this collection. I'm in a great mood. <laughs> okay, next. I'm not sure if the next item is in this. Yes, it is, okay. So the next item that I have for her is something from her Real Fantasy concert. No, it's not photo card set A. Someday I will find it. But uh, at the same time that this, um, Real Fantasy concert merch was released. So there was the two photo card sets, the postcard set, and then there was this um, photo frame set. So it came with an acrylic photo frame, but it's essentially this set of like mini postcards like this. They are too wide for a four pocket. So let me get some two pocket pages. I'm not sure. I wonder if I can fit them too wide in here. No, I can't. I better put in another page. That's kind of annoying because I think that means that one of them is going to be like alone. Well, I'll rearrange it so it's not like that because I don't like that. I think what I will do, put these two closer up ones. It's kind of like such a waste to put these small items in like a two pocket page considering like how much extra space they are. But they're too wide for four pocket and too wide for three pocket as well. So what are you going to do, you know? And then... I'm gonna do these back to back because they're just white on the back, but I don't want there to be like one alone. So what I'm gonna do is just put this one on the back here and then these two in this. And that way the pages at least feel a little more filled out. God, cat hair central. I will probably put um, like white pages, especially since the back of these have nothing on them. I'll probably put maybe something like a like a white card stock behind this to fill out all this empty space so you can't see these Japan postcards behind them. So for her Real Fantasy concert merch, 
Real Fantasy 2012 concert merch. All I need is the rest of this postcard set. All I need is, will I ever find this whole postcard set? Who knows? And the photo card set A. So making progress slowly but surely. Before I store my last items, which go in the last binder, I wanted to show you um, like how the binders are split up now. So this first binder now goes, um, oh, by the way, I found a sleeve big enough to hold this kind, well, kind of, it sticks out at the top, but I found a sleeve wide enough to store this laminated A4, so that's really exciting. Um, so this now goes up to her um, 2017 season's greetings. And you'll notice a lot of two bucket pages back here. That's because um, she did release two 2017 season's greetings or like calendar sets. There was a, um, there was one that was released just at her, at this concert, um, at the 24 Steps concert. And then that has like the same concept photos, but different actual photos for all the different postcards. And then there was the actual 2017 season's greeting set and I don't have these photo cards still, but I have both of these postcard sets. The con I found the concert version as well, which is so exciting. So I have both of these on the way. So that's what's going to fill this. And there's something sort of um, satisfying about ending the binder on a season's greetings because you're like ending it at the turnover of a year. I don't know, that just feels satisfying to me. And then the second IU binder is now this pink one which starts with these Gunnellen fan sign photo cards. Like I said before, it's satisfying to end on a season's greetings. So I have it ending on the 2021 season's greetings. And then lastly, the for the ever expanding IU collection, I have added a third binder. It's another one of these purple ones. I'm just gonna alternate purple and pink because those are two of my favorite colors and I use my favorite also. So. <laughs> This one has so much room to grow, which is very exciting. So, so far in here, we only have a few things and only one thing to put away. We have her celebrity cards, her first round of Pong and pizza cards. We have all of her lilac stuff. Second round of the pizza cards, the photo card binders, lilac set, the photo book. I still have not secured the light purple message card. If you have this, message me, sell it to me. I will love you forever. Or if you know somewhere it's for sale, dog, hook a girl up because I am desperate to find this. I'm like convinced I'm never gonna find it. And like the longer it gets from the release, uh, the more nervous I am. Okay, someday we will find it. We have to have faith, okay. Then I have set up for two things here. This last page is going to be for her for fourth gen Yuena um, merch drop that happened recently. Uh, there is like th three, there is a set of like three photo cards. I can't remember what it comes with. I, uh, I can't remember off the top of my head, but I think it's supposed to be shipping pretty soon. I did pre-order two sets. I got one set for me and one set for someone else I know. And I didn't get just the photo cards. I did get a few different items. So when that merch finally like ships and arrives to me, I'll do a whole unboxing like dedicated to that merch, but that's what this setup is for. But this page before it is for the third round of the Parlin Pizza AR photo cards. Yes, there are three rounds. They are not all, I don't have them all together because um, you know they were dropped at different times throughout this past year. So I prefer to have my binder stored like chronologically. It's just my preference. So yes, that is why even though they're from, or from the same CF deal, um, I keep them stored separately, just in terms of when they came out. Um, the backs of these ones look like this. So the backs of each round are different. This has like all the socials for this pizza company on the back. This white one has gold. I don't know if you can see that. The gold signature, that's quite nice. So yes, that is all three rounds of those. That would be... I did an Instagram post, so I think that's 10 cards in total. Yeah, hopefully we're done with these. <laughs> there are, uh, it's like kind of a pain to secure them because they're like, you know, always part of some promotion where you gotta like buy pizza or something. So yes, I'm very excited that I was able to secure this third set pretty easily. Thanks to my eBay alerts, thank God. So that is it for this photo card storing video. Um, next up, I do have a pretty big IU haul. I managed to get, um, I managed to sec secure some pretty rare items and also quite a few of them are actually sealed. It was a it was 
I don't know, really exciting. It's a lot of stuff that I really wanted um, for a long time. So I'm gonna do a whole video dedicated to th that when it arrives. Um, I'll do a video for the fourth gen merch drop. I still am working on that video where um, I show how I find and shop for rare K-pop items online. I will be, um, yeah, I'm still working on that. I hope to have it out pretty soon. Um, just depending on whether those items arrive first or, or not. Um, if they don't arrive soon, then I'll finish that video. But yeah, that's what I've got coming up. And that is going to do it for this one. So thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.